Out, out, out. He was long, was long. Close, 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 close. Just, oh, you just dog for stall here. Okay, so this is something that you want to know about Sky Dog. So Sky Dog is basically a big f*** you. Um, so if you hop back elbow here, right, with Sky, and then you pop your dog, and you just AFK with your dog right here, what can this chamber do? <laughs> he can't run at you the because dog. he either eats the dog, Boom. gets stunned, and then you flash him and kill him for free, and you're like, haha, thanks for my eco, or like, my, my kill, right? Or he just has to wait out, and maybe he walks towards sight, doesn't matter, because you're trying to buy time for your team here, and if he walks towards sight, then you can chase him with your dog, and you can stun him, right? If you want a coaching session, click the top link in my bio, and it'll take you to my Metify page. Or if you want to support the channel, you can go to my Discord channel as well, and subscribe there, where eventually I'll be handing out coaching sessions. Enjoy the video. I mean, this is like, this is literally just a playtime issue, I won't lie. Um, like, so it, it's just the idea of like standardization and optimization, but you're looking to optimize before you standardize. Uh, with that basically, what I'm saying there, if you don't really understand what that means, is that you have to play the game, and then as you play the game, you can optimize your routine, your gameplay, whatever it is, but if you don't play the game, you're not going to improve. Like, literally every every night for the past, like, I don't know, like, month or whatever, I've been doing, like, an aim labs routine, like the, the Wuhujin. So you've ones. been doing, like, 30 minutes of aim labs, but you don't play the game? Let me make something abundantly clear. Aim labs is an additive. Um... It doesn't actually make you better if you don't play the game. Um, otherwise, you get better yeah, at aim labs, 100%. But this is like a big misconception with a lot of people who do aim trainers. Aim trainers is, it's, um, it's literally just additive onto your like routine. Aim labs is literally the thing that should come last. Like it is a thing that like 30 minutes, like, yes, it is great. But if you only have two hours then you shouldn't be dedicating 30 minutes to those two hours. Does that make sense? Flashing at the start of the round um, is fine. Flash nothing B. Why do you wait? What? Why do you? Do yeah, I think it's just nothing like. B. Why do you? What? Uh, wait. What are we doing? Yeah, this is just like being weird because it's like, for some reason, I'm anticipating somebody like dodging the flash, even though literally it's like I have no info in this new enemy team, so it's like I should just grab the orb. I do eventually grab the orb. It's just I don't know, being more careful than I need to be, since I don't really know their. I don't think this tendencies. is being more careful than you need to be this jump spot completely irrelevant there's no way anyone can be here like zero percent if you i can get in game and time it with you if you don't believe me but you could dodge the flash i could run pick up the orb and run away before you can even get on screen but yeah this is just literally you autopiloting like you're kind of just going through the motions or you don't understand the map of bind I'm not really sure which one it is mm, this is more autopilot Okay, wait, I want to listen to what my team says. Flash nothing B. I guess TP's fine. That's me, that's me. Oh, I took TP. Combo. But I'm not a fan. You have nobody fighting showers. So you're kind of just stuck in TP, and then on top of that, the enemy now knows that you rotated from B to A, and they haven't committed out of sight yet. And since they haven't committed out of sight yet, this means they can take TP and you're f***ing doomed. Um, it's it's just objectively not a good play. If they were full committed out of sight and your teammate was fighting showers, I'd agree. Right, but just perma TP. Instead, I'd rather see you walk down the map and take space because holding control and having a flank is more valuable in a lot of situations than just TPing and fighting. You only want to TP and fight if your teammate is fighting with you, right? But having this control, let's say they walk back to you, you're like good for two, right? Like you're plus two here. Um, or well, plus one, because you're going to go two for one, right? And that's exactly what you're kind of aiming for. Or you can even play the, the late flank and let them all run by and then and then flank and get a fast kill, right? And then that's Pog, right? Both of those situations are good. Um, but just TPing off of no contact and, and little information, is, look, they already went back to B. Now they have B site, and now we're gonna be in like a sh post plan. So, not sh post plan. We're we're five v four, so it's not too bad. Cypher's elbow control. We're with our omen. Um, when you go out here, you should just uh run out and hard clear this. Okay. Like like not all the time, right? Obviously, have your crosshair trained in here and and look here, but you still need to clear this. This is what's in a way it's kind of like reverse clearing. Think of it like when you are on Haven and you know you're in garage and you want to retake C, what do you do? Uh, check the box. 
well like more than box garage. but it's also yeah you check box outside garage maybe even go all the way to here maybe even go all the way to here if you're feeling a little spicy right looking for that work right um this is what's called reclearing um obviously on haven there's more optimal pathing because you can just route this way um as a rotator but oftentimes you have to go clear this and at minimum clear here and here right like this is kind of like yeah. your min clear uh and think of it the same way in pine that's your min clear i guess um real quick just like mm -hmm. i feel like generally i mean i, I feel like i don't really do that because it's like until the the enemy has shown that they like lurk because a lot of the times people just like mm. see that's like, only in down, certain fight. situations <laughs> you know? so that argument and that's the argument who makes a lot of times and it's a good argument in specific cases so for example fracture query in this box I don't care right i don't care like if i'm fast flanking through b but in this situation the enemy team like everything about this game is very situation it dependent was right? rotating away from a so it's likely yes, that somebody they're rotating there, away from a so it's yes it's uh, a high like, probability that somebody's here waiting for you guys to tp how often have you like seen either you or your teammates either sit here or sit here and just wait for a tp or even sit here right and try to kill you guys as you're crossing right it's, it's very common play and there is no harm like they're planting the bomb you use what 0.5 seconds maybe yeah the 0.5 seconds isn't gonna matter i promise Okay, we're gonna flash long again. Yep. It's fine. You can throw this flash off barrier, by the way. It's just so it pops faster. So you notice how you like okay. run forward with it? There's like no point. Uh, okay. It's like it's slower to run forward. Bird travels faster than your run. Flash B. You're coming long. And okay. go. Chamber dig. So you should have stipulations on what you want to do, depending on the situation. Um, so for example, you and Chamber, or you and Cypher should always be coordinating whatever's gonna happen. So like, if they're here, I'm gonna do X. If they're not here, I'm gonna grab the orb and then do Y, right? Um, yeah. Like for example, I'm gonna flash along. Yo, Cypher playing hookah, I'm gonna double up with you um, if they're here. And then boom, that's a shape relation, it's that easy. Flash B. But you're kind of just more Someone... playing to the flow yeah. and reacting, which is a lot harder to do. <laughs> Nothing flash B. This is an exact example where I'm saying like you don't have stipulations. You can see it more prevalent in this round, right? So what this basically is, you walked backwards towards B as the flash was flying, which doesn't really make any sense, one. But then as the flash is flying, maybe your rationale was, oh, I wanted to fast rotate. But then you ended up reacting and because they weren't here and you ended up grabbing the orb, right? This is what I mean. Yeah. It's like you need to know in your head what you're going to do before you are going to do it at the start of the round for the first like three most common plays. Obviously, as the mid round extends, it'll be more reactionary, which is perfectly fine, right? Um, obviously having a flow chart of ideas of what could happen or what are the most likely situations that could happen is valuable. But at least in the start of the round, we need to start practicing this, where it's like, yeah. you were just, because now you're going to be what? I think like six seconds slow on the rotation. Was like, out, out, out. He was long, was long. Just, Oh, you just dog for stall here. Okay, so this is something that you want to know about Skydog. So Skydog is basically a big f*** you. Um, so if you hop back elbow here, right, with Sky, and then you pop your dog, and you just AFK with your dog right here, what can this chamber do? <laughs> he can't run at you, right? Because he can't either run at you dog. because he either eats a dog, he gets stunned, and then you flash him and kill him for free, and you're like, haha, thanks for my eco, or like my, my kill, right? Or... He just has to wait out and maybe he walks towards sight. doesn't matter because you're trying to buy time for your team here. And if you walk towards sight, then you can chase him with your dog and you can stun him, right? It's fine. Yeah. But this is just a stall technique. You'll see this a lot in like professional level games where you'll see them literally like at B long, they'll jiggle the dog like right here. Cause like, can anybody walk right. up if you're jiggling the dog B long? Yeah. Cause it's like, and also I feel like generally people like pre-game to like break the dog yep. at, at higher elo. So it's like they jiggle the fuck out of them just to make them like annoyed <laughs> yeah they make him annoyed but it also acts as just a giant aoe stun box which a lot of skies underestimate how powerful that is your dog lasts what i think six seconds yeah last six seconds i'm a goat this is why i'm a coach anyway so last six seconds so you basically have a six second piece of stall utility that's right here this is the equivalent near equivalent of just a brimstone molly right here so at this point we've kind of realized two things that so this team is kind of like an ABAB team i won't be shocked if they go a here um and then on top of that when they fight they go weaker side towards long right? And they have more people towards Hookah. So you kind of have two options then in this result. You can uh, ask for Cypher to cage cross and start caging your cross as you flash, 
to create the threat that somebody could be on this side and then it's a pain in the ass when they're going weak side long to deal with, right? I think we'd both agree that there's a potential of two people there. It's annoying. And their sky doesn't come here, right? Sky goes hookah instead of long, right? Yeah. Um, so that's kind of like option number one. Um, option number two is to just flash out a hookah or fight for hookah while flashing long. So you flash long to give the illusion that you're still there and then fight hookah like late or you can pop flash out a hookah. Um, that's what I'd be thinking, but I'd also be looking to read the enemies. So I'd be assuming they they're going A here and I might just like shift towards A potentially or look the fast flank this round, board. right? So those are those are my anticipations. Yeah. But they yeah, oh they, they have a chamber, chamber up, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So even that even then, like see, even they pop chamber ult, I guarantee you this chamber ult is towards showers. Yeah, he's probably right? A. He's probably showers. Of, like, and they went A. Yeah. And now like we're not reading the enemy. So and we're just playing B long simulator. You're scared as if somebody could be walked up B long, which doesn't even fucking make any sense, right? You just flashed along yeah. what do they have a your yeah. your TP that's and your your headphones turned off, or like how is he getting up long right now? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and then you're just indecisive. So this is proof that, like, once again, you're playing the game that you view on paper instead of the game that you're actually in, right? The way you kind of want to think of this game, right, is, like, your your goal is not to play the game correctly. That is dumb. I'm going to be honest. Playing the game correct is so wrong, as dumb as it sounds. Your goal is to play the game as wrong as possible that you can get away with. That you can, like, get away with, yeah. Yeah. And that's, like, it's such a weird phrase to say because so many people are like, that doesn't make any sense. Right, but for example, if you just are mechanically better, like think about an immortal smurf in like a silver game, right? If you are just mechanically better, do you have to macro the game? No, you just swing because you're you better and you know you're better, yeah. right? <laughs> that doesn't mean you played the game right, you just shot them in the face. And that's as simple as Valorant is at times. And it's the same concept here, right? Um, it's yeah. just as you get higher and higher in your ranks, for example, your Diamond 3 Ascendant 1, as you get higher and higher, the as wrong becomes more macro, slight like heavy, like walking down maps, pot flashing things it doesn't really make too much sense right but it makes sense in the situation because the enemy team also is playing the game wrong right sky shower yeah and now you and cypher are both committed even though this team has like you said it, see like here's the thing you have backwards logic because you're like when you were, when we were talking earlier you're like oh i don't need to clear this box because they've never shown it work so why are we staying b when they've never shown it work that is true yeah yeah so i guess it's like like a little copium is what I'm saying about not clearing that box. That's shower. all I'm gonna say. Chamber shower. I, my rebuttal to that was it was like what pistol. Shower, so shower, like shower. let's get with up. Yeah, fair. It could change it later in the Lucky. game, but like pistol, I think I don't know. Well, no, because Ice. like your uh, your rebuttal was based on the enemy's habits, but then you don't follow true. the enemy's habits later, right? I mean, he's the guy who, who was jiggling with his uh, with his rocket. I don't know if he'd be smart enough. To <laughs> He was well, I, mean, you know, I respect the, the rocket jiggle. I just don't know why he jiggled four times when he saw the guy and didn't shoot it. That was more of my concern. He also had double threat. <laughs> oh, whoa, where's the calm? Where's the calm? Yo, yo, guy, short clear. Yo, 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 pocket clear. I don't see any U-Haul at jump site, but you should, you should go U-Haul here, by the way. You shouldn't jump on site. It doesn't With make the sense. dog? Yeah, because like yeah. think about the duration of the dog that's left, right? It's like, okay, I have two options. I can jump this way, but I don't see anyone, so I'm not going to stun anything. I'm just going to be there. Or I can re-clear U-Haul. And requiring you all makes the most sense because you get more information, right? Just back yeah, and cool. makes my life hell of a lot easier to skill up. And yep. Well, I mean, this guy just ended up giving away her position anyway, so who fucking cares? Yeah. But like, <laughs> she just ends up taking a one and a one v three because she's a great player. Who cares? Yeah. Um, you should have looked for this fight first and then flash afterwards, unless mm. your assumption was that he was pocket. Do you know why I'm saying that? No. Because you don't know whether this guy's here running away, right? You don't know if this guy's here running away. And in both of these situations, you don't get a kill. And in this situation, you also don't get a kill. So you might as well just take the dry 50. You also have to think that the enemy is probably going to be anticipating some sort of flash because you're Sky, right? Um, now, that's more me assuming high elo, right? They probably don't give a shit. But like... I think, yeah. Right? So it's I think like, what was going on in my head is like... I just killed their teammate from short, so they're just going to be, like, staring at it. That, so what is it like? Yeah, that's fine. Like, I do agree. They will be staring at it. And that concept works really well. For example, like, Haven Backsight, like, here, like, you're playing a Flash character. You should always take the first kill and then Flash afterwards, right? 100%. And that's kind of what logic you're trying to apply. But in this situation, because of how bind works, because of how the angles work, it just doesn't make much sense, right? It's like, okay, well, I'm not going to, what am I going to force them off the angle? And it's like, if you want to force them off the angle, it's like, okay, then we need to like run up to pocket then afterwards, right? Like that needs to be our plan. So let's say, for example, your plan was flash and then jump towards pocket. 
thumbs up coach approved right but we just need more of an intention behind that because you're like you're flashing a kill and there's no way you're getting a kill here does that make sense yeah so it's just a little backwards you just got to know what your intent is behind the flash i guess that was a better way for me to phrase yeah. it i could have saved us both a minute of our lives my bad okay you know he's right you know one's right side you know one's left side this is like the exact situation so pay attention right this is what i mean you flashing here kind of redundant as f because there's just no way you're ever getting this kill does that make sense like this is kind of what I mean. Like sometimes like this flash, like when you flash here, this pocket, it's like cool. You can walk slightly up. I'm down. Like if you want to, and that's like your whole goal, like you want to walk forward as long as you understand that. But like, but like when I see you do this and you flash, like you don't know what your intention is. Like you're flashing this with a full intent that like, oh, I'm going to get a kill here. Right. But I want you walking up. I want you up here. Does that make sense? Like I want you going forward. Cause fuck that. Like before the flash or after? Like after the flash. Like as the flash happens, like I want you to flash and just run forward. Cause like, I don't care because I know this buys me a two second window of where I can take as much space as I want. And then I'm here and I'm peeking. It's a completely different angle. Does that make sense? Like where they're still holding for you down here. It's like slightly different because of the ramp, but it doesn't really matter too much cause you just lost the duel. But like, I would rather you just jiggle and take the duel if I'm going to be honest. I'd rather you just like almost dry peek it. But that's my opinion. Flashing to take the space, like fine, I guess. But you just gotta realize that like yeah, you're unless <laughs> unless this mother is like here, like you're just not killing this guy, right? Unless yeah, he's like, like unless here. he's actually like pushed down the unless he's in, like this, like this area, like slightly forward. This spot is like the kill zone. This is like a I'm not getting a kill zone. <laughs> this is like the, yeah. they're safe. This is like the, they kill. These yellow areas, depends how fast it reacts, right? It's like, how fast are they reacting? Oh, yeah. this is like the shittiest play call ever. Wherever, Wherever we, we find, find Cypher, Cypher, probably just hit the other side. I, I just hate that I ideology. Like, I, think it's, I think it's bad. Like, I think you just use your dog to break the Cypher trip and call it a day, yeah. right? Like, find out where they are with the Cypher trip as you're clearing, yeah. and like, you can hit the Cypher. Uh, especially if the Cypher's like turbo weak, like, for example, if it's like Cypher Jet, that's just like a turbo weak side of the map. Like, as long as you deal with the trips, like that Cypher is pretty much worthless. So, yeah, drop okay. Andy has no smokes, right? So he has no smokes to play around. He yeah. has his cages, like, which means like you can force out basically all of his utility. Most people throw the flash to the right. I don't mind you throwing it to the left as long as you're. It's a full info flash, but the reason why you throw it to the right is like higher probability of blinding somebody because like it has less audio time. That's why people throw it to here. Or like throw it like even here. Like normally if I'm throwing info flash, I just tuck it into this corner. And if I'm throwing kill flash with like a double saturate, I'm like flashing like that. But up to you. Okay. That guy just, just guys, swung guys, out. This is what I mean, bro. These people are stupid as <laughs> Like he just gave, what? Is that a bulldog or a vandal? Oh, nice to you guys? I pretty sure it's a vandal. Another one hookah. Another one hookah. Oh, surely we just... You need to calm here if you want to like in my opinion just go 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 a because like think about what just happened okay one motherfucker tp'd this guy head got blown off by a sheriff what do you think the players a a are thinking the players a are thinking all right i'm fucking out of here go and b because they don't want to lose the round right and they're like oh no my eco my eco my eco so if you insta calm but hey fuck it, let's like walk backwards and then go a so that way you don't give the audio cue to this mother like too soon, it's goaded. You just, you just have to be faker, I guess. Like, I don't know, this. Into this is what I mean. This is, the, this is this the guy that's. Like, like, this is what I mean. Though. I'm losing too bad. That's, that's what I mean, though. It's like. CT, CT. Oh. All right. Can swing him. Three. Yes. Yes. Fight. 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 Yes. Don't plant bomb. No. Don't listen to him. Just tell him to take uh, the fight. Oh, you guys just lost a ride. He's gonna take a one now. Jet's gonna be walked out. Oh. Oh, yeah, so we just gave him uh, one, nice. right? Exactly, right? Just half the bomb and then double hold, right? That's all you have to do. I'm surprised I didn't yeah. anybody. Planting the bomb there offers two ones, because when you're planting the bomb, funny enough, guess what? You are not an active person. Also, uh, that might have been because, okay, yeah, so I still I have bound to be. Do we get sky diffed? Oh, no, we get. I might just get, we, I just get diff diffed. 120 to. <laughs> yeah, they had a play. Look at these guys. They TP, TP. They help. Um, what happens? Up the tower. Up. Okay. okay hold on, hold on. So we flash. 
You can just force this guy off right away. You can just instant dog, by the way. Like, this guy here, and you feel like he might be showers, and you're jiggling. I think you're very aware of an op, for some reason. It's kind of dog. So, let's just hit A. Be round. Pretty sure the Raze and Sky play B long every round. Okay, so whatever. We're, we're aware that somebody can shower. be shower at because least. we flash it. Like, Up. you might as well dog and just force it. But at the pre-round, you should also be calming that like, yo, Reyna, come shower with me. And Reyna is the best person to come showers with you because you're splitting up your utility evenly, right? Raze is dedicated, Raze Cypher dedicated towards short um, with an Omen blind as well. And then you and Reyna towards showers, right? So you can basically f this guy out of out of showers, you can do you know what a super flash is? Yeah, it's like they ran a flash and then and then I flash because yeah. like they have so to look at the rain of flash you can flash, to break it and, and then, then I you flash. Them. You can flash and then you can dog and then your Reyna can flash deep and then you can super flash the flash and then you just yeah. get free showers. And you might not even need to use your second flash, right? Like and then you can yeah. save your flash. But yeah. I think I, I told the Reyna to come short but it was our shower, but it was too late. It was way too late. Like Oh yeah, you have to tell him pre round, otherwise it doesn't count. Yeah. You know me. If you don't do it in the yeah. round, don't care, doesn't count. Like, yeah, don't, you my are, like, I told my Raider to hold this with his op because he, oh, he swings. Op? Yeah, oh, yeah, he picked okay. up the op. Oh wait, yeah. this is a great like, I knew, I knew this guy every time this Every time I flash it, he would peek afterwards. Yeah, yeah this is a great read. I'm proud of you. Good job. Raina it took you 21 rounds, but you finally made a play based off what the enemy team was doing. Good job. I think I'm going to flash him first and then probably peek into it. Rain a post on him, yep. and then she has high advantage. I think she's like 80% chance of winning that fight, and she just wins. So, yeah, so if he plays triple. Um, so doing this, just dog so you can speed up. Like you guys got the kill, just dog so you can yeah. go faster here. Right? It's just better. Yeah, so if he plays triple, because like taking like slow. I have like a I have like a weird PTSD of people playing close to the dog and just swinging and killing me. But Next one. Like, if they swing and kill you when you dog and your rain doesn't kill them, then. It's just team diff. Like, I don't care. I'd rather yeah. dog. And like, let's say yeah. that is your paranoia. You can dog from here if you really want to. And if they TP on you, GG. Like, you can't plan for everything, right? Oh, I got dog. Raise back triple. This dog's kind of sh**. Because you know the raise is triple and you know nobody's close right. Heaven, heaven, TT, heaven, TT. Yeah, because my team would have died yeah. from there. Yeah, he yeah. sees him. That omen would have definitely been shot in the face. Let's, now, uh, actually... let's get some crazy trigger discipline when he's trying <laughs> no, to yeah, get yeah, more. Yeah, no. I got dog. You know because it's omen still, like you can mini map He sees it, yeah. yeah. Or like out of the vision cone, yeah. While you're reloading, Raise back triple. You're mini mapping, it's fine. You can't trust vision codes, yeah. by the way, but you can trust icons. Because um, if your teammate sees them, the icon will always be there, but the vision cone sometimes bugs. Yeah. Wow, our Reyna has... She, she got the first shot. He does not give a fuck. And then, the first shot, but my god, did she miss. You're kind of indecisive here. This is like, a, I don't know how I want to fight with this guy, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, there's option number one you can hold for your Reyna. Reyna, I'm holding your back sight. He showers, sure. But that could be play number one. Play number two, you could just swing this guy and call it a day. Right? So you can swing with Reyna, but like, that's objectively net worse. Um, but at this point, like, you're kind of like. You're kind of, you're kind like, of taking your own have... fights. Like, yeah. you have to just recognize that this omen's in his own spot, and you can't really swing off of him because, unfortunately, there are still two motherfuckers alive that we do not know about. So, uh, yeah. So, you kind of just gotta look for your one and just take your own fight. I was like, I was like half planning to peek off omen, but then I was like, I can get swung from backside, so I was like doing both at the same time and doing it both. <laughs> Yeah, and doing neither of them correctly. It's so. always better to do one thing correct. Long is clear. Then do two things. Could be sight. Could be sight. Did you flash? Get no audio, and then play scared still. God, what is this with you, man? Uh, I mean, I figured he'd like peek late. Okay, but if he peeks late, okay. Here's the thing, right? So when I play sky off the start of the round, I am running forward. So like the second I pop my flash. Like, you need to get comfortable running and moving with this flash. You need to be here, and then if you get nothing, you're just knife out until you're here, then you're popping your gun and you're taking the fight on this angle, this off angle. That's how Sky works. Oh, you can take that fight. I'm down. And then wait for your teammate, and then dodge the showers, jiggle it, whatever you want to do. I've been team diff too many times, but having my utility out and then nobody's holding anything and then I just f***ing die. Um, even though I'm like the last one in line. Um, yeah, PTSD doesn't 
quantify for bad Quantum habits. Weapon. So you want to hide splash, splash, and then I'll, I'll dog after. Okay, so the thing you need to know about the sky flash is everyone needs to hide. You need to comment for everyone because when the sky flashes. Yeah, because the guy's short got tagged. Yeah, but then I I did think about that until after they got tagged. I was and like, you're oh, like, fuck. you're like, erm, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> You dog like, here. Uh, they always fight for this be long space. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you kind of need to send three people here. This nade's really good, but you don't understand what to do with it. Long. And as a result, you use a flash and waste your util. Now you guys are gonna take dry fifties. So like this nade, this nade is really good. Do you know why? Uh, they can't peek from long, so we can clear yes. uh, the left side. Perfect. Perfect. Exactly. Right. So you need to understand your teammate's utility and be like, okay, um, raise nade here. Raise is just a big f you, right? That's kind of what it is. It's, I call it f you utility. It's like, f you. you can't do what you want to do, right? So while Raises that's happening, lot, you can just go up and you can clear this and then you're good, right? Like, yeah. And that's exactly how it works. It kind of works very similarly. For example, like if you Sage Slow this now, Sage Slow is also kind of like a f you, but it's not as deadly as a f you, right? But like you throw a Sage Slow here, like what does it allow you to do? Scale up, right? Take the long space. Yep. Same concept. You just need you need to be in order to take long because you need to recognize they're fighting long. You need to recognize what f you utility do we have, and then let's use it. Because you're just trying to dog and you're trying to flash and they're breaking your flash and they're still fighting long. And then you're like, well, shit, what do I do now? Right? <laughs> like you're like, oh man, I just blew my utility. I blew my load. What am I supposed to do? But instead, you should alter your brain and be like, okay, I've got a fucking raise nade that I can chuck. And then when you chuck the raise nade, now we can scale. Right? It just Completely different way of thinking, which yeah. I know. Thinking about your teammates' utility, it's a little difficult sometimes. Get a subscribe for more, uh, <laughs> and see you guys later.